Hey guys, welcome to part two of my Left 4 Dead Dead Center expert walkthrough. Um, you might wonder why I'm back here on the first level, and it's actually because I quit after the second level last time. So I'm just going to replay through these two first levels just so that the stats at the end are legit, and um, I can also have my laser sight weapon that I got on the second level. So Hello. yeah, don't worry though guys, because you don't have to watch and bear through this again. I'm just going to skip to where I was before, so wish me luck on doing these first two levels again. No! Loser! You're a loser! God damn it, You're this tank spawn. Well, no. should be, cause you are dirt! You make me Oh my god, the tank spawned here again? Okay, I have them all top this time. Okay, I'm actually getting the sniper this time because I feel like this would be more useful in the finale. Let's hope there's still somebody here. Hey That was a little too close. Alrighty there. Whew. 16 zombies, wow. Alright guys, so here we are back here. And now I have the sniper rifle, so I should be able to deal with tanks much better than with the AK. The finale is what I'm most worried about, just because you have to take out two tanks by yourself. I took out a tank earlier by myself, just on the second level, so I think I definitely can do it, but it's definitely going to be a challenge. Alrighty, here we go. Oh my god, are you kidding me, game? This game actually hates me. Okay, where is it? Wanna, okay, there's a hunter right next to me over there. I could just potentially do the glitch to- No, please, no! Please, no! Please, no! Oh! Dead end! No! No! God damn it! Wow, that is so unlucky. Two tanks in a row. I just fought one. Okay, so the glitch I was gonna try to do is if you get back in the safe house and you stand like right here or so, the tank actually can't knock down the door. It's really actually pretty OP. So if he spawns there again, which I think he will, I should be able to do that if I have to. See, I was just really freaking screwed there because two special infected spawn at the same exact time. So there was, and him spawning there gives me absolutely no room to fight him. It's just really stupid. Up this escalator. Okay, looks like it's a different spawn this time. Spawn behind me. Oh, nice charge, dude. Oh my god, I forgot how hard this is. I've been playing Left 4 Dead on normal with my friends for like the past couple of days, so now Expert feels extra hard, as if it wasn't hard enough already. So, okay. So, I think that all the witches that spawn in Last Man on Earth, at least all the ones I've ran into, are all wanderers, so I actually don't even need a shotgun to begin with, so that's really convenient, because as I said in my last episode, Shotguns are just awful for smokers and also aren't too great for tanks. Alrighty. This door. Haven't had a zombie spawn in a while, so I'm assuming there's all four of them are gonna spawn all at once. Very okay, this is this is a terrible tank spawn. I hate this game. There's absolutely nowhere I can run. Are you serious, game? Where is he? Right here. That I I don't know what I'm gonna do. I I think I'm just screwed. Like there's there's nowhere for me to run. And I think I have special infected spawning behind me right now. It's just like, what the? And, uh, now I'm even. Like, I can't get. I can't go back there. Like, it. I'm just. If I park over, over him over here, maybe I can. Okay. See, I'm worried for special infected right now. Oh, shit. And my adrenaline wore off, so I'm gonna run slow soon. Please have pills. Thank you. 
going to have to run through here. There's a spit. <gasps> no! This is going to be bad. This is going to be real bad. I don't have any pills. Fuck. Fuck. A jockey, a jockey. Where's this jockey? Where's this jockey? Where's this? Oh, he's down there. Okay, he jumped down. Tank's dead. Tank's dead. If I can just heal before this shit gets to me. Please heal, heal, heal. The jockey can climb up. He could get me right now. Where is he? Where is he? I might be in the clear for now. Okay, the jockey's over there, I think. Um, See, they can climb up these, like, little things. Okay, God, God, God. Turn that out. Turn fucking... Okay, the alarm doesn't do anything. So that's not what I'm worried about. I'm just close all these doors behind me. Oh my god, that was nerve-wracking. I just parkoured right over that tank. God, that was just such a cheap and stupid tank spawn spot, honestly. Like, worse than the first one. Okay, don't have time, gonna run straight through that. If you're fast, it doesn't do too much damage. Adrenaline. Adrenaline's definitely the best you can do in Last Man on Earth. Because you heal faster, and you can just run faster. It's just... It's, Way better than pills, in my opinion. Hello. Alrighty. Something could be in the safe house. Okay, are actually good. Thank God. God, that was so nerve-wracking. My heart is racing. <sighs> so as you can see, the tank has around eight thousand health, and doing that by yourself, doing all the damage to him, is not very easy. <laughs> Only killed six special Hello? infected that time. On the second level, I killed like, what, like 16 or something ridiculous like that. So, okay, we're at the finale already. Um, campaigns go pretty fast on Last Man on Earth if you don't die too much. Just because there's no whores or anything to slow you down. You're basically just running the whole time. So, I'm very scared. This could take several, several, several tries, or I could just get on my first I don't know. I remember on regular campaign, I actually did this campaign on Expert Realism, and the finale took me probably like six or eight retries, just because it was so hard, because I was playing with three bots, and the three bots are just useless. They don't pick up the gas cans, because that's what you have to do on this finale. You have to pick up, I, it's a lot of gas cans. Let's see how many it is exactly, we'll see. What are we waiting for? Let's go. But it's like 13 or something like that. It's hey, all the gas cans that spawn on the map. So it's very, very hard to do by yourself. Alrighty. No special infected spawn. I think See, they spawn the second us. I start this Any elevator. Ideas? I like how Nick's just like having a conversation with himself. I think Nick has like schizophrenia and he's just like imagining the three survivors being next to him. Then did I just mispronounce schizophrenia? It, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm an idiot if you couldn't tell. Okay, so it's actually only 8 because it's last man on earth, I guess. So that's very good, but it's still going to be hard. It's still going to be very hard. So the strategy is to just get the gas cans and then throw them and fill them all at once. That's what I do, at least. So this is such a big area. The infected could spawn anywhere. This charger could be right up here. I think he actually might be. Where is he? He sounds really close. Okay, he doesn't sound as close anymore. Got it. But, okay, gonna drop these down here. Okay, here he is. Smoker. Smoker's definitely gonna be my main enemy here. Okay, Smoker spawned right here. That was good. Easy spawn. Knew where he was immediately because there's so many places where they could smoke you so maybe i won't even have to fight the first tank if i'm quick enough i think i've done that before honestly i don't remember if i was playing on expert but i th i think i remember doing that i think i remember filling all these up before the first tank even got here so how many is that that's five so i need three more so i actually might be able to do that let's see actually the tank's probably gonna spawn like right about now so probably not yeah, I think I'm gonna... He's gonna spawn, like, right when I'm filling it up, probably. So I'm gonna have to lure him away. I have adrenaline, so I can fill the car up a little bit faster than typically. This is actually probably the easiest finale to do on Last Man on Earth. 
because you can do it relatively quickly while the other ones are timed but here if you're fast enough you could possibly not even have to fight a tank at all so okay there he is yep predicted it, that he was spawned just about now I doubt I'll have time to fill these up before he gets here so okay he's right next to me run 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 where is he Shocky's over here okay rock summon spitter over there Okay, now that he's over here, I can throw a Molotov at him. And gonna throw the rock. Okay, wow, I just like practically walked right into that. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go upstairs. I think I'm just gonna try to lamb around over here. I'm gonna be very careful not to shoot the gas tanks, because then I will be so screwed. Do a little ring around the rosy thing. Right here. I think I could have done this with the AK, but this does a lot more damage. Okay, there's a charger behind him. Let's deal with the charger real quick. Okay, tank's dead. Tank's dead. So I'm gonna pop this real quick, so just so I can fill these up a little bit quicker. And should be in the clear. Last one. And there we have it. That is Last Man on Earth Dead Center on Expert Difficulty. And the zombies are waiting outside, but they're all dead. Oh my god, dude, my heart is still racing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this was definitely a one-off kind of thing on this channel. I do really love Love for Dead 2, so I think I'm going to do more. I'll probably just go in chronological order and do the passing next, but I'm not sure. I might just do a full left turn or U-turn and just go Left 4 Dead 1 campaign. Maybe I'll do No Mercy because I feel like the Left 4 Dead 1 campaigns are actually harder. So let's take a look at these stats. It took me 21 minutes. I did have to restart two times. Um, two deaths, five incapitations, nine first aids. Um, yeah, I obviously didn't use any pipe bombs or bio jars. Didn't use a melee weapon, no boomers. Um, decent amount of infected, mostly smokers and hunters. And actually, never mind, jockeys actually. Um, I took the least amount of damage. Yes, I'm the MVP. I revived the most teammates. I revived three teammates, get on my level. Overall accuracy, 30%, and headshot percentage of all hits, 7%. So, definitely not too good. 32 zombies killed. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely really enjoyed doing this. Have an awesome rest of your day or night, and peace out. Take a step back, have a long eye look. Look at the light, the light, and I'm the best friend, as soon as I come. Drop your lips around the bell of the gun.